Hello everyone, my name is Jack Sorrell and today I'm going to show you how to homebrew your Nintendo 3DS on firmware version 11.5. I make homebrew videos like this, modding videos and homebrew news videos all the time. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe so you don't miss out. For this exploit to work, your 3DS must be on firmware 11.5. This doesn't work on 11.6. To check your 3DS's firmware version, open up System Settings and on the top screen, it should be displayed on the bottom right corner. If your 3DS firmware version has the letter E at the end, you're going to have to change the system language of your 3DS to French. You can change it back to your language when we're done. Also, if you want to join my Discord server, I have a link to that below. Now, let's get started. The first thing you have to do is go to the Homebrew Launcher website and download the Homebrew Starter Kit. After that, enter your full 3DS firmware version into the box below. Then, click Download Other App. After you've done that, go to the NoteHacks website which is also linked below. Then download the NoteHacks files. Open your 3DS SD card then extract the homebrew starter kit to your desktop. Copy the two files inside to the root of your 3DS SD card. Next, extract the NoteHacks files to your desktop. Then open the folder which has the name of your 3DS region on it. Open the NoteHacks folder, then rename this file you downloaded to Other App. The .bin part should be added automatically, don't type this into the name. After you've renamed this file, move it to the NoteHacks folder. You'll have to delete the private folder that's already on the SD card first, so drag it to your desktop to make a copy, then delete it from the card. You probably won't need this folder again. Then copy the NoteHacks folder and the private folder to the root of your 3DS SD card. Now back on your 3DS, open up Flipnote Studio 3D. And remember, if your 3DS is from Europe, you have to change the language to French before doing this. When you're in Flipnote Studio, tap View and then you should see the Homebrew Flipnote. Tap the Flipnote to run the exploit and then the Homebrew Launcher should open. And that's it, you've homebrewed your Nintendo 3DS on firmware version 11.5. To exit the homebrew launcher, just press the start button and then press the A button and you'll be kicked back to the home menu. And from now on, all you have to do to open homebrew is open the Flipnote Studio 3D app and then run the homebrew Flipnote, unless you update of course. Well, that's all for today. My name's Jack Sorrell and I'll see you next Sunday with a brand new video.
If you have an idea for a future video, leave it in the comment section below and I'll feature your channel in the video if your idea gets chosen.